Arawa hopa hen tawa keo esa ko kia mi hansata Melissa Elsenaya ko shahats asanich. My name is Mark Chino, I'm with the Eagle Clan. M Melissa is my mother and Mark is my father. I go to Brinley High School. I live in Santana Pueblo, New Mexico. Welcome everyone back to Brinley High School today. We had a fantastic day yesterday. Looking forward to a great day today. Now that you're here with us. What's up, Mr. King? I think one of the key factors that helps Mark overall is he is very resilient. He has a very positive attitude and a lot of confidence. And you really don't find that in a lot of native kids. Here in New Mexico, we have 19 pueblos that all fall along the Rio Grande Valley. At Bernalillo High School, we cater to about seven of those pueblos. The first exposure of education and schooling to the native people was through boarding schools. We bring them in clean them up, and start them on their way to civilization. The school is losing your culture, being away from your family, losing your language. From their state of comparative savagery and barbarism to one of civilization. Here, on the one hand, we have the Navajo as... That's where the root issue, I feel, and I believe, is where our kids are torn every day by coming to school. The bus Sorry. just came when yeah. you were going out the door. Oh, 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 How things have been done or what's happened in the past still influences greatly within our pueblos their perception on what's happening in our schools today. We've got to work collaboratively with the Pueblos. It's not a Brindle High School job that we can do alone, and it's not a job that our Pueblo can do alone. We've got to create an environment and a school culture where the students feel that they're part of it. I'm one of those people, I have pride in who I am. I can't call myself Native American if I lose my language, my culture, because I'm losing my identity. Right? So they're always constantly carrying us, okay? Not so much in the basket, but spiritually, right? Okay, when does that happen? Anybody know? End of the year. At the end of the year? Oh. Or... If you don't have the student participating in their own education, if you don't have the school being an active participant in their education, and if you don't have a parent or an elder or a mom or a dad part actively participating in that student's education, that student is never going to be successful. That pot over there has got the green chilies and then those cassava. I was all trying to remember the name of the Indian melons. Uh -huh. Cassava melons, ah, dang. As far as education, I really try to stay on top of it. I have a big support, you know, my family here, my sisters, my mom. You know, I couldn't do half of the stuff without them. I live with my dad, my aunties, my sister, and my grandmother. My grandmother is, she, uh, she's something, all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, yep, that's cool. She pushes me basically, that's what I want to say because she does, she's like, are you sure you did this? Yes, are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure that you did this? Are you, let me see it. Okay. Just, uh, with a toothbrush, uh, call, with me, uh, sure. um, just dust them off because okay. they look a little bit dusty. How do we at Bernalillo High School create a culture on our campus for our native kids to want to come to school. I just went next door to my mom's house. <laughs> in order to create the culture in your school, you need to have the appropriate staff and people in place. You got tea? You got new ones. We take them on uh, field trips. And I feel that's really important, uh, bringing them out here, seeing what we've learned in the class.
and I see that, you know, the identity, who they are, and being proud of, of themselves as Tamayam the parents to these kids like Mark some of them didn't have this opportunity where we're teaching them in school the language the traditions the culture you know there's I have a lot of teachers and like I want to gain wisdom along with an education so it's just a good feeling to know that you discovered that part of you, of yourself, and then you know that in the back of your mind, that's always going to be there. For a student like Mark, it's important for him to never forget where he's from, be proud of where he is, and to be able to promote that within our school and be one of the leaders in our school. So Mark, you got this group organized. I she won't. I know that someday Mark will be a conduit for change in his own community. 2018. As a sophomore, he is already showing his community that you can be different and you can still be successful. He'll always know who he is. He'll always know who he is. I want to get an education and you teach and then come back here to the Pueblo and share what I have. My name is Mark Chino. I'm with the Eagle Clan. I live in Santana Pueblo, New Mexico.